Garden again? No, no. I'm just looking out the window. Get over yourself! check in on everything outside and collect some samples for class. Sit tight, okay? this that what about it that's yours it has to be and it's on my side first of all that is not on your side it's in the middle right on the path as you can see Second, that seedling does not belong to me. And who else would it belong to? That's clearly a flower bud. Does that look like any flower bud you've seen? I don't know. How should I? I thought you placed number two in plant magic last year. You should know this. Ugh!
Not necessarily. Neither of us is willing to take responsibility for this seedling, but someone has to care for it, and we can walk around in circles arguing over who will take that responsibility. But, and I hesitate to say this, I suggest we work together. The origin of this plant is a mystery. That means it must be either incredibly rare or a hybrid. Don't you think we could both receive some extra points for this? How do you expect me to know anything about you when you've never made an effort to talk to me in the first place? I suppose you're right. I... I'll take care of this a little. Hey, you! I have a letter for you. It's from Evelina. Make sure you read it fully and don't waste her time. something to show you.
compatible and there's just too much bad history between us. I'm sorry. It's alright. I was also out of line with that comment earlier. You came second by two points last year. That isn't much for me to have an ego about. But you still beat me, though. I guess. Um, anyways, I'll take a quick sample home with me tonight. I'll send off your way if I find anything interesting. Aspen. I'm here to deliver a message from Evelina. She wants you to meet her at her residence tomorrow at noon. Can you do that? That soon? She found something already? That's just how she is. But she wants your help specifically. All right then, I'll be there.
Hey, thanks for coming. Um, I have something to show you. I don't either. Maybe it'll be more obvious later? Maybe. Well, uh, I'm gonna go take a sample of my own and I'll send Dottie over if I find anything. Yeah, sounds good. Um, thanks for coming over, Aspen. I, I appreciate it. Still nothing? Nope. Ugh. I hate not knowing things. Get used to it. I don't know anything. I don't even know why I'm alive. Hmm. You know, there's something you haven't checked yet. Hmm? In the shed.
I said before, I worked really hard to get to where I am. Maybe a part of me held some resentment towards you, because in my mind, you were practically born into this. But I shouldn't make assumptions. I know you worked hard too, just in different ways. going through my grandfather's shed, I found letters. They were from your mom ten years ago. What? I wasn't going out of my way to look for them, I swear. I didn't even know who they were from at first. But I know Thank you, Aspen.
Would you like to join me on a picnic? Meet me back here tomorrow? right? parents were victims of what happened in the mainlands. That massacre that took place almost 20 years ago now, the one that caused my grandpa to find refuge here, I was too young to remember them. But still, growing up, I really wanted to know about them. You know, who they were, what they would have thought about me. It took me a long time to realize that I was holding on to something that wasn't even there. I had my grandfather right beside me. He was always there for me, and I took him for granted. And, and I almost made that mistake again. With you.
<laughs> really? You dig me? I... I don't know. I guess I just wanted to say what I feel, but it's so hard to do that without making a stupid pun, and I... It's okay. I thought it was really cute. Did you ever expect things to end up like this? No way. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> but somehow, it feels like this is how it was always supposed to be. I couldn't agree more. <laughs>
you don't have to do that anymore. And neither do I. Did you ever expect things to end up like this? No way. <laughs> Me neither. But I'm glad you came to your senses eventually. Seriously though, this wouldn't have happened without your help. So thank you. But seriously, don't hate me. It's the least I could have done. I don't know what your problem is. I have been trying to cooperate with you, and you keep giving me a tough time. I, I'm sorry if you felt slighted by me all those years, but now you're just acting immature. <sighs> I don't think I can work with you anymore. Please just leave. <sighs> Gladly. <laughs> 